Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a review of the Skin Aqua Tone Up UV Essence. When I first got this, I was super intrigued because it's a color correcting sunscreen and I've never heard of a color correcting sunscreen before. It has a lavender tint that's meant to correct the yellow, dull, or sallow looking areas of the face. So I was really interested to see if this would make me look more lively and fresh. This sunscreen has an SPF of 50 and it protects against both UVA and UVB rays. The formula also contains hyaluronic acid and vitamin C to help keep the skin hydrated and just feeling fresh all day. It has a very light and silky texture that I think would be suitable for any skin type, but just keep in mind that it does leave a dewy finish and if you have oily skin, it will definitely make you look oilier. Okay, so let's get into the application. Here I've got my skincare on and the last step before makeup is sunscreen. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a very, very liberal amount to my face because my dermatologist once told me that you need half a teaspoon of sunscreen for your face and your neck. So I always try to apply about a fourth of a teaspoon to my face. This sunscreen feels really nice on the skin, it glides on easily and it doesn't feel heavy and actually it feels really nice and hydrating and almost cooling which is so nice because it's so hot outside right now. It doesn't feel sticky or tacky but it does leave the skin feeling kind of moist or maybe not moist because I know people don't like that word so it leaves the skin like hydrated to the touch. The purple tint of the sunscreen, in my opinion, doesn't actually do much. Uh, I think the consistency is too thin to actually do any color correcting. I'd say instead of color correcting, it just makes my skin tone a bit brighter. So you can see here that it definitely leaves a dewy finish, which I don't mind even though I have combination skin. And actually, I like using this sunscreen alone without makeup because it's comfortable and I just feel like it makes my skin look healthy. But for the purpose of today's review, I'm also going to apply a full face of makeup on top just so you can see how it wears throughout the day. As usual, I'm going in with my BB cream first and I find that when I use this sunscreen in combination with makeup, it kind of acts like a hydrating primer at first and any base makeup that I apply on top always ends up looking really dewy, which again, <laughs> I like, but lately I've also been setting everything with a bit of powder at the end just because it's so hot outside and I really don't want my makeup to melt off. Okay guys, makeup is on, skin looks good, feels good, and I'll see you in a few hours. Four hours later and my skin still feels really good, but I'm starting to see that my makeup looks kind of patchy around my nose and my mouth. And four more hours later, which brings us to eight hours since I applied sunscreen and put makeup on, and this is what my face looks like. From afar, it still looks good and my skin isn't any dewier than this morning, so it doesn't look oily or anything, but my makeup kind of looks crusty around my nose and my mouth. And this has happened every single time I've used makeup over this sunscreen. I'm not sure why it happens, it's definitely surprising because at the end of the day my skin still feels super comfortable and it doesn't feel dry or anything. So yeah, I don't know why it always makes my makeup look so dry and cakey at the end of the day. Overall, I would still consider this a decent sunscreen. The purple color correcting component, obviously, has completely failed. It didn't color correct at all. But aside from that, I do think it's a good sunscreen to wear on its own. It provides you with maximum sun protection and it's very lightweight and comfortable. But since it doesn't sit well under makeup, for me personally, it's not daily sunscreen material, you know? So if I were to rate this, I would give it a 7 out of 10. Not bad, but I don't think I would repurchase. Okay guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all healthy, staying safe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!